Hi everyone, this is Nathan Schauer and this is the tutorial of how to integrate the Seagull package in the KDevelop project for iSet that we developed. So just remembering, we, have, we had this folder here, iSet tutorial, in which we had a set solver Cyange and we created a project KDev here. Here we have our project open in KDevelop with all the folders, something that has been run. And now I set uses for some codes, uh, Seagull. Seagull is a package for geometric algorithms. If you go here, Seagull, you have seagull.org and you can learn about more about it. So to integrate it, first we have to download it. So let's go back to our small tutorial here we had this CMake, this readme Linux kdevelop and we stopped last time in here. The next steps are for compile I set with Seagull 4.7 so let's do it. First step 0 download Seagull at this website here. Let me bring this to the other screen to be easier. Make me this makes this smaller. So let's copy this. Come here. Put this website here. Scale 4.28 beta. Let's go to the more stable ones. 4.7. And in here, let's download it. Tar XZ is smaller. It's okay. Save file. And let's put it on the same level as set Silver Sci Engine Project KDev. So he's gonna be a downloads Seagull 4.7 Tar GZ. Double click and put it here. Here Seagull 4.7. Let me close this and this. Let me get this small tutorial here because we're gonna have to change some a seagull file so step number one edit a part of the file that is in here called the Lenway triangulation 3 so let's first go to this file seagull 4.7 include seagull and in here let's search for the loan so we already have this Lenway triangulation 3 Three here, got it. So it's here, and which the so we have to do this editing here. Let's do it together. First, let's search for this part of the code by copying this part here. Got it. I'm here. Now let's see what he's asking. Uh, this is all already there. So after walk up timer t and if, let's copy this part here into the comment. So here's size type n. Here's size type n and after walk clock timer t. So it's here. Perfect. So this is the part oops this is the part I copy now. Now there's another part to edit. So after here there's this parallel, a lot of code skipped. This is also Seagull return this and and if so this and if we need to do it so let's find it here let's go 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 here after this and before this i think let me see yeah after that actually done save it after this, just checking, yes. So I can close now and let's go to step number two. Open Seagull on CMake. So we're gonna do this, let's open a terminal, CMake G. I already have another Seagull here, but let's erase it for the sake of learning. Uh, browse to Seagull 4.7 so, so folder that we just downloaded. So let's browse to it. 
So it's programming, I set tutorial, CL 4.7. Okay, this is the one. And choose for a project here a folder called compile G inside the CGAL 4.7. So here compile G. Now let's follow these other steps here. Configure Seagull. Once you make E, click configure. I want to create this folder. I want Unix make files. I want to use default native compilers, which is GCC. Finish. Now we're gonna uncheck some options. You see that this CMake interface is similar is to the one that we have for ISAT, but uh, in KDevelop, CMake is already integrated, so we don't have to open the GI for it. So let's uncheck build share lips, and let's uncheck image IO and kt5. Configure again, and generate. You can close CMake now, and let's browse to this folder. Programming, I set tutorial, Seagull, compile G++. And in here, just type make. It's going to be fast. And OK, it's done. So now we compile Seagull. We're going to go back to KDevelop. So let me bring this back. Put this on the right again. Put this on the left. And now go back to KDevelop, step five, and go to Project Open Configuration. So let's go Project Open Configuration. And in here, click both using Seagull and using Seagull as Act Arithmetic. Let's go using Seagull and using Seagull as Act Arithmetic. Then apply. It's an error, but it's an expected error. Please inform the path to compile Seagull on Seagull Jir var. Here at Seagull Jir, so inform compile Seagull path here. So let's inform that compile G folder that we created. It is in programming, I set tutorial video, Seagull 4.7, compile G++, OK. So now let's click OK, click elsewhere, apply. Let's wait a little. And this thing here, and, and OK. So now it's already configured for Seagull. So the next step is to compile the code. Let's press build, and it can take from 1 minute 30 to 3 minutes. In the meanwhile, I just want to say that if you want to learn more about CMake, CMake is what manages all this KDevelop file, or you can create a make file version, or an Xcode, or a Visual Studio, and so what we did let me open a new finder here here in the full or in your asset set solver there's a fold called docs and in here there's docs cmake and cmake course and here there is a file for a very small tutorial for understanding cmake and what it does is tries to mimic a very simple version of iset and with that, you should be able to go to the CMake in ISAT and understand better what's happening there. So if you go to sets over here into this CMake lists, uh, now we're going to go to Sublime, this CMake lists here. Everything for the project is written here. So parallel one, choose parallel implementation, boost the library, boost um, MATLAB, you can use inside ISAT. Seagull is here, so this find package Seagull is what we did to find Seagull. And it's very interesting, it's a very powerful interface. Let's close here. See that it's already 76% of compilation. And now it's compiling mesh, some, some geo mesh here, now comp mesh. It's almost done.
So finished, we compiled I set with Seagull. Now let's quickly test Seagull. It's a quick test example, it's not some finite element simulation that uses Seagull. So let's go to run, configure, run, configure launches, add new, I set project kdev, and in here I have a test Seagull. Here, let's click on it. Nothing to do here, just OK. And now we have to change to execute this launch. So run current launch configuration. I don't want it to be my first test, I want it to be test Seagull. And then just execute it. OK, we did something and Seagull appears to be working correctly. Well, this is it. Now you're in, we have ISET in a KDevelop project with Seagull. If you want other options, you can go here to project, uh, I have to click here, open configuration, and you can click other things. For instance, use it to use the MATLAB engine, and to, you can use the Pardiso solver instead of show mode. But these are for other day. And I hope you enjoy it. And in case you have some doubts, feel free to contact me at this email. Thank you very much and bye bye.